I'm trying to come up with something profound to say. Some way in which I can end this and, you know, tie everything together. And as I'm racking my brain, nothing's really coming to me. So I'm going to do what I do best and just speak off the cuff because honestly, that's probably a better, more truthful way to be. The sauna is finished. I'm absolutely stoked that I have one now that my friends get to benefit from it as well. You know, when this whole thing started and I bought a rusty, crusty old horse trailer, people thought I was absolutely nuts. The walls had holes in them. The floor was disgusting. Everything that you could think of being wrong was wrong. And through lots of hard work, lots of effort, craftsmanship on the behalf of my friends, we really transformed this thing and made it into something that I'm very proud of. I think that's probably my biggest takeaway. It's not actually owning the sauna trailer that brings me the most amount of joy, but it's the work that was done with my hands. And that's just kind of an interesting thing to notice. And it probably sounds cliche to say that it's about the journey, not the destination. And yet it really feels like that in the end. And, you know, hopefully, those of you watching, hopefully my efforts will inspire you to set a high bar for yourself and just attempt to do something that you don't think you can do. Because the reward that you get once it's done is absolutely immeasurable and it's beyond pleasant. It's just, it's like a big hug that you give yourself. It's also worth noting that I think you can do it. Set a goal for yourself and go after it. Now this is not at all to take away from the fact that the sauna trailer is real. I am like elated beyond belief that my friends and I have one. The Pacific Northwest where we live is a very dreary place nine months out of the year. And when the clouds roll in and they're relentless, it's really easy to get down and just kind of sink into depression, that kind of thing. And so having a portable sauna that you can tow anywhere and park it by a stream, a river, an ocean, and then sweat to your heart's content and then jump in said stream, river, or ocean, that's gonna be pretty, pretty darn fun. It's also worth noting that this entire movie I've largely focused on the build. You know, I've been researching how to do things properly. I've been slowly learning how to do them properly. And this is just the beginning. I reckon that it's gonna take many months, if not years, to figure out all my protocols, how everything works, to perfect how, you know, I, I burn logs in the stove. I think a lot of very experienced sauna people are probably gonna you know they'll probably attest to the fact that it's not easy to perfect that kind of skill it takes takes a long time so more than likely there will be follow-up videos about saunaing uh, and that, that's about it that brings us to the end i'd like to once again give a big shout out to all my friends and sponsors for helping me make this thing a reality. You boys and girls rock, thank you so much. And this is all just a long-winded way of saying the end. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later. Ciao.